And here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Orsini, your host, here at the Ludus Wrestling School, and I'm taking a quick break from my ring announcing duties to call this action for you, but I am not alone. I am here with the feature presentation, Brandon Lewis, and Mr. Lewis, we are here with one-on-one -on -one action. Yeah, and it's about to get on the way right now. The Funky Monkey, Angel Ortiz, and the indestructible Joey Attell, one-on-one. -on -one. And it's furious vengeance. And it's outside the ring, too. Joey Tell just taking it to him. And that's the way I like it. I don't really like this guy. And Etel putting it to him early. Taking advantage. He doesn't care where he has to do it. He's one of those characters. He does not like any opponent he gets in the ring with and will show no mercy. Good, good. Beat Ortiz down. Oh, wait a second. Ortiz countered back out. Up. That's right. Countered out. Puts Etel's face right into the ring apron. Referee in good position. Orsini, you know I don't I, I don't really like uh, uh I don't Ortiz. like Angel Ortiz, but no, you know. He he knows what he's doing. He, he's a tough guy, and right now he's taking it to Joey Tell. Well I'll give you credit for giving the man you may not personally like the proper credit inside this match so far. And Angel Ortiz fighting you tell off. Uh, bro, look at the athleticism there, looking for a head scissors. Oh tell into the second turnbuckle. That's a thin piece of padding right there. And a belly to back suplex in the beauty. Oh my, see, see, this is why I don't like him. Right there, I would have went for a pin. Well, it's a little early in the match. Ortiz probably figures, big same time splash. I was just going to say, he probably figures it's too early for that cover just yet. But I think after the same time splash, he feels comfortable and only got a two. Yeah, well, like you said, it's going to take a lot more than that. But it, but it was smart to go for the pin. It was smart to go for the pin. You want to win. This is what it's all about. Impressing all the fans, letting them know that you're the man. Listen, folks, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. These are two guys who can go. The funky monkey, Angel Ortiz, and indestructible Joey Tell are two guys who can get into that ring and flat out go. And Ortiz is taking control with punches in the corner. Oh, that's disgusting. And a little gyrating for the fans. And E. Tell's not going to stand for it. And he's countered out with a hangman on Ortiz. You know, these fans are questionable. I, I was quite sure the majority of them were male. Oh! And a big drop kick. And Ortiz is hurt. He's hurting and he's hurting bad. Good, good for him. Good, keep hurting him. And he goes with the cover. Smart. One count, though. One count only. Ortiz has still got a lot of fight in him. And I'll tell you, Etel knows it. Big yeah. boot to the back of the neck. Etel's a smart guy going right after the shoulders. Pounding away at Ortiz right now. And right back at the pin. Smart man. Only a two count there. You don't give him enough credit for his intelligence. Listen, you're not going to get me beat up, all right? No one ever called out. This guy is clearly a loose cannon, no doubt about it. But he is merciless. He is a very precise wrestler, and he's going to show it to you here. Nice boot and a spinning neckbreaker. No, no, but he's going right back to what I'm saying. He's very methodical. Going for the pin again. Once again, smart man. And he's staying in a certain area. He's aiming for the shoulders. He's aiming for the neck. He's trying to take away the equilibrium and the balance of the funky monkey. Well, like we were saying before, Joey Till has a reputation of being somewhat unpredictable, being somewhat unstable. But I will tell you this. His ring IQ is right where it needs to be. He has picked the body part, and he is attacking like a wild animal. You see those clubbing shots in the chest? Oh, no mercy. No mercy at all. Two can only on a cocky cover there. Uh, just one foot over the chest is not going to get it done against Angel Ortiz, and I guess he's figured that out. He's got the rear naked choke in. Well, you see right now, uh, Ortiz is still in there. He looks like he's trying to reach for the rope. He's grabbing a ref. What's he doing? He's looking for anything he can to get out of this hole. All of them excited, cheering on Angel Ortiz. And it seems to be working because right now he... he he seems to be getting up from this predicament. Well, the fans love Angel Ortiz here at the Lutus Wrestling Center. Yeah. Big fan base for Angel Ortiz, and I can tell you now, Etel could care less. Oh, what was nice move there by Ortiz. He catches him off guard. Did you really just call that a move? It was a schoolboy there. That's a, that's a wrestling maneuver. I oh. rip off. Springboard cross body in the center of the ring. Referee in good position, two count only. You know, you got to give Ortiz uh, credit. He knows how to use the entire ring to his advantage. Well, all pro wrestlers who know their trade do, and a big back kick there. Ortiz looking to roast beef him, and he's looking to look, go off the ropes. Once again, using uh, uh, the momentum, trying to and get the Etel fans. saw it coming. Good. And, oh! oh! He didn't see that one coming. Ortiz with the big boot, leaving his feet, putting all 245 pounds 
into the face of Ito, but only gets two. I think I see a Nike swoosh on the side of his face. Yeah, and I think the front row got some teeth souvenirs for the evening. Yeah, put them under your pillow, kids. No quarters here. Trust me, Snap Man Driver! That's right, that's exactly what I'm saying. Stay on the neck and shoulders of Ortiz. This could be it. Two and three! Mm. Only a two count. Referee in position saw the shoulders. Detail's going to argue with him, but that was clearly a two count. I'd argue with that count, too. That was a slow count. Well, you'd argue any count that didn't pissy Ortiz get a three count against him. And Detail, one of these messing with the crowd here, not very happy with the fact that they're supporting their guy. Yeah, he tells him not really happy with anything, but that's that it works for him. That's yeah, motivation. He's, yeah, he's a very unpleasant person. He does unpleasant things, and he's looking to do some here against Ortiz. Ortiz tries to forearm out. He accomplishes his goal. But he'll tell again. Big insecurity to the back of the head, and Ortiz is down again. See, and, and it's hard for him to stand up right now. I mean, right now he's probably running on adrenaline, but that's right back on the neck and shoulder area. Ortiz comes out of that clothesline. Straight toe kick and a DDT. And look at the movement there. Fluid, precise, and in the center of the ring. Yeah, but you know what? It tells uh, uh, assault on the neck and shoulder area. It's taking its toll. That move was out of desperation. Neither man's getting up right now. Speaking of taking its toll, Joel Etel is coming off of a brutal feud with the five-star stud Joey Ace, ending in a brutal, violent I Quit match not too long ago. We were questioning earlier in the night if he would even be physically able to go tonight. So far, he looks good. He was the first one on his feet, so he's able to go. Oh, 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 but right now, Ortiz the advantage in versus the Atomic Drop. Drop. Boom, and a kick across the sternum, and Ortiz is back in control. This has been a very fast-paced matchup between these two men. And here he goes. He's going up top. What could this be? I have no clue, but he is climbing the treetop. Ortiz, from up high. I rent district, as you once called it, and a double axe handle. He crowned him from the top. Only a two count. These two men, folks, are giving it their all. These are two gladiators, two representatives of the Ludus Wrestling School, and these are individuals who represent it well. The best talent in the East Coast, some might even argue the world, right here at the Ludus Wrestling School, and you are seeing it firsthand. Right now, the Funky Monkey has the crowd going bananas. I don't know what to expect right now. All I know is he has the advantage. Ortiz has his tail just trapped in the corner. And the referee trying to cause some separation. He is in the ropes. And Etel is in a very, very bad and vulnerable position. And Ortiz is just going ham sandwich on his chest. Stinging chops, man. But right now, from uh, one corner, looks like going to the other. Etel fights it off, though. Uh, Credit to him. Yeah, yeah, credit to him. Give him some credit. He's all fighting top. back. Big Ooh. leg drop from the top. Tennessee Jam for you old school wrestling fans. Screw Tennessee. Yeah, uh, well, no, we've got fans over there. I'm not going to go that far. That was and almost a kick out by count. Ortiz. Uh, listen, these two guys, like I've been saying this entire time, these two guys can go. Big move after big move, and neither one seems to want to stay down for the three count. I don't know what it's going to take to put out of these men down, but it looks like this could be it right here. Double underhook, reversal from there. Irish whip into the corner. Ortiz with the advantage. Big shining wizard in the corner. And a beautiful Northern Lights suplex by Ortiz, but it only gets a two. I thought that was it, Orsini. I really did. Listen, between the, uh, the boot that Etel took, between all the punishment that Ortiz took, the fact that these two men can stand is amazing. Right now, he seems like he's setting him up. Fireman carry. Attell able to get down. Kick to the midsection. And he's setting him up again. This could be it. Wait, no, no, no. Fights out. Jack and I pin one, two. Etel oh, kicks out goodness. again. You now, Ortiz sees the clothesline coming. Counters out for the backslide. Wait, no, no. Etel, Etel, here we go. Out. Pin him now. Go for it. This could be it. One. Two, three count. There's your winner, Joey Tell.